It says Rio Jin's stage outfit caught the attention of fans, sparking a mix of reactions online. One fan couldn't believe their eyes and took to social media to share their confusion. I couldn't believe it, so I looked closely and she is wearing fishnet stockings over her underwear with the top tucked in. What's going on with their stylist's sense of fashion? It looks really strange. Seriously, what is this? In the photo, Ryojin is seen performing on a stage wearing a leather jacket, a sleeveless t-shirt and a very short shorts over fishnet stockings. Allegations of plagiarism surrounding Blackpink Lisa's latest music video Rockstar have escalated, following acquisitions made by Gabrielle Moses, the director behind Travis Scott's film. On July 4th, Moses publicly accused Lisa's video of bearing striking resemblances to elements from his own work, sparking an online debate and widespread scrutiny. He expressed his disdain on his Instagram story. He added the offending clip from the Rockstar music video to another story. It was the scene where the camera continuously panned to Lisa and her dancers. It was shot similarly to the clip of the uniformed children in the Fiend music video. Moses apparently contacted Lisa's company with this concern, saying he is giving them only until the end of the month to respond. Netizens were divided on this topic. Some defended Gabriel Moses, saying that he is rightfully mad since Lisa and her team blatantly copied him. On the other hand, Blinks took to X, formerly Twitter, to defend Lisa, saying that it is a common concept that Gabriel Moses does not own. They pointed out that if anything, the one at fault is not Lisa, but the director of her music video. Loud Entertainment, Lisa's company, has yet to respond to these claims. Meanwhile, Lisa made headlines by generously compensating shop owners on a street in Thailand that was closed for her solo music video shoot. On July 2nd, Hong Kong media outlet South China Morning Post reported that Lisa paid shop owners in Bangkok's Chinatown more than a month's salary in exchange for closing their stores during the shoot of a new music video. Lisa released the music video for her solo single, Rockstar. The video was filmed on Yao Barad Road, known as Bangkok's Chinatown, capturing the lively and bustling atmosphere of the street. The filming crew closed the street for three days in May, from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m., a time when shops are usually closed. Despite this minimal disruption, Lisa compensated each shop owner with 20,000 Thailand currency baht, which is approximately 548 US dollar, which significantly exceeds Thailand's average monthly wage. Meanwhile, Lisa's new single Rockstar garnered 32.4 million views on YouTube within 24 hours, making it the most viewed solo artist video in that time frame. The previous record was held by Taylor Swift's Fortnite, released in April, which had 19.5 million views. Lisa, who has a large global fan base, often showcases her home country's culture. Thai media outlets reported that former Thai Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawatra urged Bangkok local officials to use Lisa's rockstar music video to promote food on Yauvarat Road. Natizens are speculating whether Hyona has recently removed her lip fillers. On an online forum, netizens discussed Hyona's latest appearance at the Waterbomb Festival, noting the changes in her looks. Some observed that her lip fillers seem to be gone, commenting that she looks even better than before. One of the top upvoted comments noted that she now resembles the Hyona from her 4-minute days, closer to her debut era. However, some netizens expressed concerns about whether these changes might be due to side effects from various cosmetic surgeries. Most comments suggested that Hyona would look perfect if she removed her smoky eye makeup, which they felt gave her dark circles, and opted for normal contact lenses instead. Some reactions include, Wow, this reminds me of a Wonder Girl days, especially with that hairstyle. I can't believe there are still people hating on Hyona. She's 33, do you think people always look the same as they did in their teens and 20s? Blackpink's Jenny drew attention with a daring see-through outfit at an event, but has also become the target of body-shaming comments that are causing dismay. 
Various opinions from netizens poured in an online communities regarding Jenny's bold see-through attire at a luxury brand event the day before. Jenny showcased a sexy yet lovely charm by pairing a black ultra mini see-through dress that revealed her underwear with black see-through stockings. Her makeup was lighter than usual, enhancing her lovely image. Jenny's unique aura, perfectly embodying the luxury attire, undeniably capturing attention. Photos capturing Jenny's various looks were released in real time at the event, and fans expressed their excitement about her recent activities on various online communities. Fans praised Jenny and her stylish charm, saying, She looks amazing. Only Jenny can pull this off. However, some negative comments critiquing Jenny's body has also surfaced. These commenters specifically mentioned parts of Jenny's body, such as her chin and arms, pointing out that she appeared to have gained weight compared to before. Comments such as, She doesn't seem to manage herself. She looks like she's gained weight. And, Her face looks fuller sparked debates among netizens. Twice's Nyon has become the latest target of malicious comments. On July 7th, a post titled Nyon's Waterbomb Figure went viral. The post has since been viewed over 105,000 times till now. In the post, a netizen uploaded several photos of the idol from the 2024 Waterbomb Festival. The post author sarcastically threw shade at Nyon. Netizens reacted to the post, with many stating that Nyon had gained weight. Still, the idol's true fans came to her defense. Comments like, Her outfit doesn't fit her, she wore something too small. I'm at a loss for words seeing people criticize her weight and not her outfit. Being an idol is really hard, were posted in Nyon's defense. BTS Jin becomes the first world ambassador for Paris jewelry brand. Whether meeting with armies, posting selfies, or filming variety shows and content, Jin has kept armies fed while the other members are in the military. Most recently, he has been appointed the first global ambassador for Fred Jewelry. Fred is a Paris jewelry brand that started in 1936. WWD posted about the news on Instagram, revealing why the brand chose Jin as their ambassador. His radiant energy, artistic qualities, values and high standards constantly push him to excel, strongly resonating with those of our house and our founder Fred Samuel, with whom he shares an unwavering optimism and joy of living. Jin also shared his thoughts on becoming a part of the Fred family. I'm deeply honored and grateful to be the part of the Fred family. Please look forward to the future endeavors we will bring through the partnership. Fans were supportive of his new role as ambassador and were loving his short hair.